Hey everyone, how's it going? Cloud here and welcome to my guide on the Sears Village tasks. In this video today we'll be focusing on the easy tasks. Now before we get going through this guide we're going to go over a few things which are the requirements and items needed to complete the easy tasks. So you'll need to have completed the murder mystery quest and you'll need these skills 21 cooking, 16 fishing and 13 farming. And you'll need these items, 5 empty pot, however you can use the same pot 5 times so that will lead that one to you, uh, 5 uh, ciders, uh, 3 coins, a bucket of milk or a bucket as you can use uh, the milk cows that are around the area, uh, 3 jute seeds and a poison chalice. The poison chalice is an item that you can obtain from the dwarf uh, stankers who can be found at the coal truck mining site. Now you don't actually need to have that with you right at the beginning, I'll tell you when it's convenient to go grab that, so don't worry about that one too much. Anyways, enough about all that, now onto the tasks themselves. So these tasks can be done in any particular order, uh, you don't have to follow the order that I do uh, during this guide, the only reason I do them in this particular order is it's the easiest way of completing them all as one set. On that note, you may have already completed some of these tasks during your general adventures across RuneScape, so therefore if you try to complete them again it won't come up with a task being complete window. So what I'd recommend to save yourself some time is see which ones you've already completed, and to do that you want to go to the Heroes tab, which is the helmet with the horns icon, click Achievements and then select Sears Village, and just see if any of the easy tasks have a gold tick next to. Uh, and obviously if they do, you won't need to complete them again. Anyways, enough about that, now onto the actual tasks themselves. So we're going to start off with Mac Rolled, and that is to catch a Mac Roll. So we're currently at the Catherby Lodestone, that can be accessed via the Lodestone Network, and this one and the Sears Village Lodestone will use quite a fair bit just to travel around quicker. Um, so what you need to do is head to the fishing spot, which is all along the southern coast, and what you need is a big fishing net in order to catch Mac Roll. Um, so what you want to do is select the net spot, uh, make sure it's the correct one because you've got the small net spot and the big net spot um, and then what you'll do you'll obviously catch quite a few varieties of things um, including like caskets and things like that when you do eventually catch a mackerel the task will be complete next task is Grand Candle and that's to buy a candle from the candle maker. So the candle shop is nearby in Catherby uh, and you've got the icon on the mini map. All you need to do is just purchase a white candle from the candle maker and the task will be complete. The next task is Reflax Actions and that's to pick five flax. So the flax field can be located south of Sears Village and sort of west of where we are now so we're going to head in that direction. And then when you reach the flax field all you need to do is pick up five pieces of flax and once you've done that the task will be complete. The next task is a searing light and that's to pray at the Sears Village altar. So the altar is in a fenced area with yew trees and it's quite near where the flax field is so you should see it. And all you need to do is choose to pray at it and the task will be complete. The next task is add another string to your bow and that's to spin five bow strings. So we're going to use the house which is northeast of the Sears Village uh, prayer altar. You'll need to go up a floor and then you'll see uh, where you can spin the flax into bowstrings that you picked earlier and once you successfully made five bowstrings the task will be complete. The next task is happy hour and that's to give five locals a glass of cider in the forester's arms. So you want to walk to where the bar is or you can just choose to teleport to the Sears Village Lodestone as that's literally right next to it. And then when you're inside all you need to do is make sure you right click each of your ciders. You then want to use this on five of the locals making sure you right click each time so you don't accidentally drink it and then once you have given uh, five um, ciders out to the uh, locals the task will be complete. The next task is called Y and that is to walk clockwise around the mysterious statue. So the statue is located east of Sears Village Bank just where the Camelot Castle is. Now you can run or walk around the statue but you must start at the east end of the statue and you cannot stop until you've made a cycle or you have to start again. Walking around the statue without pausing is uh, easier than doing running, so I recommend doing that, but it might take you a couple of attempts because uh, the characters are a bit of a pain sometimes when you're asking them where to go. But once you successfully walk clockwise around the statue without stopping, the task will be complete. The next task is called Jute Allures, and that's to plant some jute seeds. So the patch north of McGrubber's Wood must be used, and at least three seeds are required to plant. You don't need to harvest them, however, you just need to rake the plot and then plant the seeds in it. So once you have successfully done that, the task will then be complete. 
The next task is a bunch of flowers and that's to fill five pots with flour and that can be found in the kitchen in the Sinclair mansion. So we're going to head to the mansion now which is directly north of Sears village and then once you're there you need to re-enter uh, the house which you can do by climbing through the window uh, and what you need to do is use the uh, barrel full of flour to fill a single pot five times so you can either fill five actual pots with you or just keep emptying and refilling the same pot and once you've done that five times the task will be complete. The next task is Sinclair swirling and that's to use the churn in the Sinclair mansion garden and you'll need a bucket of milk with you so if you've obviously just only got the bucket you can use the dairy cow which can be found in the garden and then what you want to do you want to use the churn option uh, on the churn itself and then once you've turned your milk into butter or cream or whatever the task will then be complete. The next task is Sir Galahad and that's to make Sir Galahad uh, serve you a cup of tea. Um, Sir Galahad can be found in his house west of McRubber's Wood so the quickest way to get there is to teleport to the Sears Village Lodestone and then walk from there but I'll have it displayed in the mini map so you know where you're going. And then as soon as you enter Sir Galahad's uh, house, as soon as you talk to him before anything else, he'll offer to make you a cup of tea and then go through some dialogue and eventually he will give you the actual cup of tea and then the task will be complete. The next task is Le Mort de Arthur and that's to take a poison chalice to King Arthur. So as I said at the beginning of the guide, the poison chalice can be obtained for free from stankers at the mine near the coal truck mining site. So obviously if you head uh, sort of very north where the agility log is, um, you can then use the agility log to go across. This does require 20 agility however, but hopefully most of you have got that. And then when you're in the uh, coal truck mining site, you'll see stankers the dwarf and speak to him about out poison chalice and he'll give you one you then want to take this back to King Arthur so you can teleport back to the Sears village lodestone and head inside Camelot and use the poison chalice on King Arthur and after he has taken it the task will be complete So if that was your final task, it should come up saying you've completed all the easy tasks. If it doesn't come up with that message, it could be you've either clicked through the dialog box too quickly or you haven't completed all the tasks correctly. So what I'd recommend is you refer back to your achievements section and uh, obviously check that all the easy tasks have a gold tick next to them. And any that don't means you haven't completed them correctly and you'll need to go about doing it again. But hopefully that won't be the case. And to obtain our rewards, we need to speak to any seer who can be found in the seer's village to claim. So once we've spoken to any one of the Sears, they'll congratulate you and give you the following rewards. So well done guys, that's all the easy tasks completed. You'd have been given an antique lamp, which will give you a thousand experience in any chosen skill above level 30, and a Sears uh, headband one with the following benefits. When worn, you'll receive two logs instead of one when cutting normal trees, but it doesn't give you any extra XP. When carried, uh, it acts as a dim light source. And then once a day, you can claim 30 noted flax from Jeffrey and the coal trucks from now hold an additional 28 coal. So overall pretty standard rewards but the uh, tasks themselves are really easy so obviously it's not a surprise and obviously when you start doing the medium and the hard and the elite tasks the rewards will get better and better. On that note once I have made guides for all those tasks they'll be available in the description below so make sure you check them out. But yeah, I don't think you'll run into any problems following my guide, however, if you do get stuck, leave a comment in the comment section below and I'll help you as best as I can. If not, thank you for watching. Please make sure you like, favourite, comment, subscribe and don't forget to share with your friends. Cheers everyone, bye bye.